Yo guys, in this video I'm demonstrating the program I wrote, but before we proceed to the Doom font genesis, which is viewer and creator for the fonts in uh, ZDoom, JZDoom and the Dronom included. I need to tell about font formats which is supported. Bitemap font, console font and big font. Bitemap font is a newly uh, added independent format to ZDOM. It can't contain any amount of uh, palleted characters so it, there is no constraint constraint for uh, characters range and the most important thing that character data is uncompressed BMF can be obtained from this website you choose any font like uh, coins for instance click on that download that and you and you can open it with this program the next on the line is uh, font one which is a uh, console font and it has constraint that it's always 256 characters grade monospaced uh, characters and it's uh, often seen in a console and the, and the most important thing is that it's run like encoding compressed for character data. The next is font uh, 2 or big font, which contains um, um, any 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 number of uh, characters you can specify the the character the character range and its uh, character data is also run like encoded and it's compressed so those things you need to remember Bitemap font is contains uncompressed characters. Font one, console font, and font two, big font contains character data which is compressed. Now enough with that. I have explained those three fonts which my program supports, and I'm gonna open it. Documents where here it is. It's written in Java, therefore it has this uh, extension jar for runnables and for libraries. Program is open source, which, which you can share uh, see uh, over here. The license is GNU General Public License. This is the change log objective. I have told I think that the the purpose is for uh, creating bitemap and lamp fonts for the newest generation of Doom including ZDoom, GZ Doom and Zendron. Those three fonts which I have mentioned. Now first of all let's open some of the fonts which have arrived 
alongside with uh, this program they're located in you just need to navigate to reach uh, sorry about that that's discord you need to navigate to doom font generator DFG test stonewall, that's right, that's what we need. And we're gonna open examples folder, we're gonna open lamp files. Sorry guys, because my hand is hurt. That's why I'm slow. Ish. And I'm gonna open the big font dot lamp. And then I open it. Uh, text which contains all the characters is displayed here and here the palette is displayed if I pause mouse cursor over some specific square which shows the color color is has been shown with all with red green and blue components this specific color this pink color is used as a as an used color which I also used in my program. Now I can test the font by writing something like this is font under test and we get this specific output. I can open any other font Notice that uh, when you open uh, any file, which is a font, extension uh, doesn't place doesn't play a specific role. It's that header, uh, which is either uh, font one magic, uh, font one header or font two header. Or BMF magic header which plays this role of recognizing the correct uh, font because uh, both uh, console font and big font share this lamp extension which can be ambiguous but uh, it's recognized when uh, font is loaded so in this uh, rectangular text field here it's displayed what font you have loaded and this is derived is what font format you have chosen for creation if I chose something like coins.bmf I achieve the result in the fact that uh, here it's uh, displayed the same text but in another font. If I remove the text I get all the characters of the font. Notice that both of these fonts are high caps that means there are no low capital letters A to Z those now let's create in this video for instance three fonts one is gonna be a uh, big font one is other another is gonna be a uh, bitemap font and in the end we're gonna create console font for our doom font and we're gonna test it let's create some uh, big font at first we select copper plate we are gonna choose big font ignore this this is uh, from the loaded uh, font and it doesn't play any role it's just there. 
uh, we choose uh, we're gonna choose some gradient we're gonna choose primary color color as white we're gonna choose background or secondary color as red okay and we can see that those changed we're gonna choose specific color for outline to be 85 at blue and the most important is to choose some palette to prevent color overflow because the pal palette is limited to 255 colors and with the limited amount of colors to be chosen in palette upon creation is gonna prevent that overflow let's choose some outline no I mean spacing to be one let's increase the size font because it's big font to be 20 select outline and I think font uh, gradient outline I think we are done let's now save it let's make a new folder TST which is abbrevi abbreviated for test open it and save it as make sure that you have selected corresponding font format the big font and I'm gonna omit extension uh, for it so it's gonna save it automatically as a lamp as a lamp font it said it said successfully saved and we are going to proceed to make a next font which is going to be byte map font it's going to be 10 10 size we're going to choose some gothic again font we're going to make it call it somehow as this is font under sorry guys because i'm hurt test and put a year let me see gothic you should always keep looking at those paramet parameters you upon creation which you type in to make sure everything is correct delta and gradient colors everything i think is correct and you're gonna save it as A small font it is gonna automatically add the extension BMF for bitemap font file save successful and we press again ok uh, and, and in the and as the last font we're gonna make console font in some well-known font which is career new we're gonna uh, increase to 12 and just showing how it looks like and gonna save it as con font which is abbreviated for console font it's gonna add lamp extension to it because it's a console font I said it's ambiguous but it's not so ambiguous because it's not from extension but from the header itself the first uh, four bytes which determines uh, the font Font is being saved and press OK. 
I can just choose bold and I can overwrite it. That would be the best, the best looking, the best option for now. Now, when those three fonts are created, we're gonna open up Slate. Create zip archive. Oh, sorry about Discord. It's nasty. I'm gonna open this one, test. I'm gonna drag in those three fonts. And because Slade may crash, I'm gonna quickly save it as xezwd.pk3 and overwrite the file. Now if Slade crashes we are not worried too much. Damn it, I knew it, it's gonna crash. I don't know why that happens because the fonts are correct and we are gonna control C copy that file now find Zendronum shortcut to the folder which is uh, somewhere over here let me see yeah, it's over here. And put that in skins. And now we're gonna test it in the drone. You can use that do more. JZ Dome for instance. This missing texture is missing arrow I deleted for testing purposes. And I'm gonna just test the font. It says this is font under test. It says in the console also this is fonts under test. This is how it looks like. It's small though, because it's small font we have chosen. This is the small font. This is the big font. And this in the console is the console font. And I'm gonna choose so before I quit I just can change the arrow with cursor I think uh, system I think that's how it's called or if not go to display I forgot actually forgot now go to mouse options. Uh, default, that's one. Now I fix it. That was that was just unnecessary, but that's all for now. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you can like it and subscribe it that's all for now bye bye